How's it going, Products? My name is NXGS, and welcome to Dormitibus. At least, I think that's how it's pronounced. So this is a very brand new FNAF-inspired game made by the one and only Blackout and several other people in a dev team. This game has been in development for a while. I have followed this game for almost two years on Game Joel, and it is finally out for us to enjoy. Now, I've been avoiding any gameplay of this. I want to go into this as blind as I can. Uh, I almost said could, but I meant to say can. I said could and can at the same time. I'll stop. The only things that I've seen in this game are just a few screenshots and just the description of the game. I've tried to been avoiding a lot of the stuff. I cannot speak correctly anymore. Let's go into a new game and let's, are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure, game. What do you think of... One. Oh, is that like night one? Okay. Oh boy, this is already creepy. Okay, tip, keep... I didn't even get to read that. Okay, all right, what's going on here? Okay, I'm just gonna roll with it, because maybe we'll understand what's going on later in the game. Um, but the, the, the tip came up, and I didn't even get to read it. Like, it freaking went away in, like, one second. Like, come on, game. I can't read that fast. Twelve nights earlier. What? Oh, lordy. Why? What is this? Okay. Okay, what do I... Can I... What is this? Can I, cl can I click on anything? Oh, we're getting a phone call. All right. Let's listen in. I want to know what's going on. Press W in front of the computer to run to... Ah, okay. Got it. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hi? It appears I found you. If not, I'm probably just wasting my time with this call, but it's worth a try. So, uh, your name's John? John? John, I think it's John. Well, uh, my name's Peter, and I'm a former night guard of Freddy Fat Bears, and as far as I know, you've never met me, but you're just as deep in this as me. Every survivor I can find can help us to get out of here, so I'm going to try to keep you alive, John. I can't protect you, but I might have some useful information on what to do when okay. you wake up. And by they, I'm talking about your, uh, your childhood friends. Now before you start questioning me how you could meet them after they were killed back in the 80s, there's a pretty simple answer. You're dead, John. No, I'm not joking. We're rip. I'm unsure of how to die. But I know that you definitely made a mistake by doing so. I think I should probably explain myself here, so uh, so let me hurry up. Please! You might have already noticed that this place probably looks familiar to you, and there's a good reason for that. This is Fred Bear's family diner. Kinda. To be exact, it's an eternal purgatory. Your memory shaped the place, so for you it probably looks like a mix of wherever you last worked or lived in Fred Bear's. On that, you're pretty lucky. You could have huh? gotten a much worse look for this place in your head. Huh? But that's trivia you don't need to know about. What you do need to know about is that this eternal purgatory could potentially be escaped from. And that I have a plan of how to do so. Okay. However, you do need to assist me on this. It's not quite ready. I'll explain it to you tomorrow, but for now, it's an important step for you to look on the office table with the fan that is located next to you and get the audio tape that is in there out of it. You'll need this if you want to escape from here. Okay. However, it appears that we are really running short on time, and I should really hurry to explain to you what to do against your friends. If any of your friends, friends come to your security office, you're going to experience them from a more, uh, Ooh, I see the tape. Side. Okay. See, I currently don't know exactly what happened to them, but I know something really weird must have happened to their spirits. They're pretty messed up and broken, and... I don't think they're very mentally stable. See what I noticed when encountering them earlier, when I was still the only normal person here, was that upon putting their side on me, the only way to make them wander off is to hide from them. Now the only way to really hide from them in your case probably is just getting out of sight from the doors they appeared in. So oh. if you see anybody in them, run somewhere that is far away from the doors as possible. Okay. I don't think anyone's active tonight, but I could be wrong. Oh, I keep, uh, you're probably wrong. You're probably very wrong. So I'm going after that. I might have gotten it wrong though, so don't rely on too much on me. Okay. I think that's everything for now. I'm not entirely sure if your friends will be hostile towards you, but I can't throw the idea out. I don't think they'll be able to remember you at all, really. All they really want is. Damn it! I need to go right now, or one of them's gonna find me. 
I'll get back to you later. Okay! Bye! Um, okay, so we can't look left and right unless the computer's off. We got that tape collected, so, um, I think... So if somebody appears here, or here, or I guess above me, I have to... Or, or in the window behind me, I have to run to the other side of the office. That's what I'm guessing, that's what I'm getting from that. Now, this is really interesting. I I, I think it's cool so far. 3 a.m., so apparently, uh, do I go to 6? Or do I go to like 7 or 8? I don't know, but this is really cool. I actually really like this. Now, I, can I can I do anything else with my buttons? Are there anything else I can do? Oh, I can I can use the keyboard. Oh, wait, no, I can't. It's, it's, I just use W, you stoop. Yes, yeah, stupid. I so I, I get stupid, but I'm scared, and I actually am quite terrified right now because of the unknown. Because I have no idea what's going on. Um, but at 3 a.m. now it's 4 a.m. The hours seem to be pretty quick. Um, I'll cut to if anything weird happens. So yeah. Hello. Hi, I'm Bud. I am in purgatory for some reason, and I don't know why I'm here. But please don't kill me. What do you mean, no? I'm here against my will! I don't know what I'm doing! I don't freaking know. Does it go to six? What, what time is it? It goes farther than six! What time does it go to? What is that noise? Stop it, game! I don't know what I'm... The screen went dark. I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. <gasps> Go! Did I win? I won! It goes to 70. <laughs> Yo! Come on, game. You can't do that. So that's how you escape that dude. I didn't even see what it was. I just saw something going in the door. So I ran as fast as I could, man. Oh my goodness. All right, night two, I guess. I have no idea what I am doing. I'm just going to give y'all that right now. Tip. These tips might solve your problems. What? Of course, this one stays on the screen longer, but the other one stayed on there for like one second. Okay. Okay. Get over to your camera quickly because I, I, I assume that. Uh, all right, I'm back. Hi. Uh, I'm hoping you made it past night one. Uh, night two is gonna be a little tricky. I hope you've come prepared. No. Let's see. Uh, where I left off. The reason the spirits want to kill you, and, and this is just a guess. On but I'm already side, dead. Uh, it's because they need what's inside of you. And by this, I mean, uh, the plasma your ghostly body is made of. You see, my theory on why these ghosts turn to animatronics is that someone or something made an attempt of manifesting them to physical bodies out of thin air. It sounds impossible, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Whoever made the attempt failed. Most likely horribly. And that's why all these characters look so weird and broken. So in order to fix themselves, they possibly need a way bigger plasma source. And I think that's where you come in. You're an unarmed adult ghost, which makes you a potential meal for them. They don't see us as humans, John. They only see us as a chance for survival. Can we really blame them for it? So they're hungry! Why am I asking you questions? I'm leaving a message, not actually talking to you. David Peter, get yourself together. Uh, well, moving on. I think only one character is going to become active tonight, and that is the bear character I cannot identify. I, I have no idea what exactly he is, but it appears that his manifestation was somewhat fruitful. He, he seems to be glitching in and out of existence, which is why I dubbed him Am I Real? <laughs> Clever, right? <laughs> You really need to keep an eye on that guy, though, or else you're going to run into massive problems. Okay. If he's fixed and clean, you're absolutely fine. If he's broken, on the other hand, wash him for a few seconds. He should turn back to normal. What? Like, if you don't keep him normal, he's going to really hurt you. What? Now, remember that plan I mentioned? Yeah, you do. This plan is uh, it's still a work in progress, 
and I don't have everything ready yet. However, I am pretty sure that there is more audio tapes like the one you hopefully picked up from the reporter yesterday. Yeah? And they are going to appear in a different camera every night. If you see it, click on it with that mouse on the old computer in your room, and you'll probably obtain it. Okay. Now, I'm leaving it up to you. Don't waste too much time listening to this. He might already be active. <laughs> Come on, man! You can't do that! Alright, so we have to find a videotape inside of a camera. Alright, um... Hopefully it's easily accessible, because I don't know! Okay, let's keep looking through each camera. Um... So apparently, these are gonna be long videos too, because apparently the nights are kinda long, and um... So, what was that character then, that I saw in night one? The one that was in my- that was in the door, that I ran away from. Hi. Can you not, please? I am- What was that? Nothing. Okay. I'm getting scared over nothing. Oh, of course, it's probably normal to be scared in a situation like this, where you're in purgatory and there's haunted robots ch uh, chasing you, or not chasing me, but you know what I mean. Well, I- can I see him on the cameras? Yes, I can! Um, can you not game, please? Chill. What is that? Why is that? And where is that? What, what camera is he on? Was he? What was he on? Cam? Not. Hi. How you doing? You doing good? You're close to me. You're in camp one, and I'm here. So. Do I... How do I even wash you? It said to... Wait, now he's all clean. What? Wait, how is he even... I'm so confused! Okay, let me... So he's in cam one right now. Is he gonna come from there? Uh, please don't kill me. What in the world? Why? What is that? Come on, man. You, you you can't do this to me. You can't... Where'd he go? Oh, he's a camp 2 now. Oh, my lordy. Alright, so I gotta go to 7. Um, so I assume they're gonna attack me sooner or later. You're gone. Wonderful. Okay, where are you now? Where are you? Stop! No! Go! Get back to the PC. Go! Okay, I'll do whatever you want, game, as long as you don't kill me. Where is this videotape they want me to find? I don't know where it is! Can you stop, please, game? What time is it? 5 a.m. Okay, I, I would be excited, but it's not- it's- I go to- I go to 7. I don't go to 6. What cam? What cam? I swear, man. I'm so not liking this. Okay, you're- you're back there. So I know how to deal with a couple of them now, it's just- they were talking about washing this guy, and I don't know where or how. Oh, I think we hit seven. Yo. I don't even know anymore. I guess we'll do night three. It's gonna be a long video, but, um... I mean, nothing's really happened yet. I haven't died, and I've only had to do a couple of things. I feel like things are gonna be... Keep looking left and right. This habit might come in handy in the future. Okay, I'll do that. I I, I promise I'll do that. I like looking left. I, I look left and right and left. I'll stop. All right, welcome back. What? You popping up already? Okay. Okay, I'm back again. And I'm in a hurry this time. Mostly because they're probably pretty active right now. Okay. Now there's this big mess of parts and stuff that has appeared only after you first arrived. It appears to have lamps in it, and for some reason. I accidentally muted the call. Wonderful. I accidentally muted the call. I am stupid. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Wonderful. Okay, uh, hi. Are, are you new? Uh, is, do, I, do I do this to wash you? I don't know what I do to wash this guy because he said he needs to be washed and I don't know what I need to do to do that. He's, he's not dirty anymore. I don't know what's going on. What is that? What is that? I'm on lean now. Okay, wonderful. 
Um, this was probably explained to me by the phone guy, and I accidentally closed this call because I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Wonderful. Okay, let's not mute the call this time. Stuff that has appeared only after you first arrived. It appears to have lamps in it, and for some reason, it's full of sharp teeth. It looks like something straight out of a goddamn horror attraction, to be honest. Uh, anyway, once it's assembled all of the parts, it is going to appear on your ceiling. I think the best way to just keep it away is to look at it when it's up there, so make sure to do that. Okay. It dislikes being watched. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, remember the plasma source issue? Yeah. Uh, the old plasma source that was used to create these messed up ghosts is, uh, it's still around here. If it's there, play dead. Instantly. Look at the ceiling and do absolutely nothing oh, until you hear it walk away. That's what I do for that's that guy. That's the only way to keep it out. It, uh, it doesn't like other ghosts. I've seen it attack the others multiple times, actually. It's pretty interesting. It appears to want back what's there. Uh, well... I'm gonna leave you to it, uh, and don't forget about collecting the tapes. I'm trying to do- so that's what I do. If that dude- cause- cause since I accidentally muted the phone call, I had no idea what I was supposed to do, but... What is that noise? Okay, so when I see a mess of parts assembling up here, I have to look up. And when I see this dude over here, I have to also look up. So when I see him, I do that. Now, I have to constantly look left and right. I, I, I see what I have to do there. Um, that's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm assuming. That's why I died before was because I, um... Oh, my. Hello. How you doing? I don't know if you're... Okay. Can, can you not? Can you not? Can you not? Please. Thank you very much. Oh! The... What was that? What the... Ah, oh, go back to the... Okay, things are popping off strongly now. How long do I stay up here? How long do I stay? Do I go back over here? Are you still there? Are you still there? No, you're not. Look up. Okay. How long do I... Okay, you're gone. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm doing something, right? What about the window? I assume... It's... Okay. Let me look for, uh... I'm still worried about a few things. Alright, that dude is back. That dark dude. The one that put me on lean. How long does he... Is that it? No, he's still there! What? How do I get him to go away? I'm doing what the guy told me to do! What the? He, I, 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 am I just dead now? Oh, do I just have to like... He's gone! Okay! What just happened? What just happened? Did my game crash? Well, that's an interesting image. I'm dead. Yippee. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Dormitibus. Things have popped off strongly. Um, I don't know where to go from here. I know you guys are probably gonna want to see me do more of this. So if you, if you enjoyed this episode, smash that like button, leave that if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. And uh, Blackout, if you're watching this or any other peeps from the dev team are watching this, you guys have created a great game. I'm really liking this so far. It's scary. It definitely puts me on edge. I, a, a FNAF game hasn't done that to me in a while. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna see more, do as I said, smash that like button and I will continue and hopefully anybody from the Dormitibus dev team that's watching this can give me some help because I am still extremely confused. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay smart, my friends. Peace out. Bye-bye.